You have asked and we have delivered. In this video, I'm going to show you the latest updates that we have released to Merch Dominator, making it an unparalleled tool for Merch by Amazon and Print on Demand research. I'm going to share my screen with you guys so I can show you everything that we have added to Merch Dominator all for free for you guys. So one of the most requested features was this feature of bestsellers where you uh, can see the BSR graph on product tiles and um, to allow you to um, save the filters, whatever filters you want. So I'm going to go through it properly so you guys can see what we have done. So if you go to bestsellers, now you'll be able to see some change. So let me hard refresh because we've literally just um, updated the website. Okay, so it works now. Right, so you guys can see this uh, uh, filters area, right, where you can save your filters. So it starts with a default filter. Uh, over here, you can literally do whatever you want, right? So you can uh, play around with the filters and um, uh, it doesn't save anything in default filter. However, you can create any filter you want. For example, in bestsellers, we'd like to create a filter for, uh, say, T-shirts. and USA Marketplace, and we'd like to check newest, right? And BSR below 200K. Like that, save, right? Once we're inside the filter, then we can play around with these filters and click on search. Once we click on search, the filter uh, or the parameters will be locked into this filter, right? So let's do it. Uh, we want to sort by newest and we want to sort by below 200k in BSR like that and t-shirts marketplace USA click on search there we go so these are the latest designs based on 200k BSR etc etc for the US marketplace and for products right and for t-shirts sorry uh, now, let me change it to, let me go somewhere else, right? Brands and then come back to bestsellers, for example. It takes me back to default filter. However, if I'd like to go back to the filter that I've just saved, I just click on it like so, and it takes me straight back into it, right? Perfect. Um, I can do this for bestsellers, seller trends, uh, merch archive. Um, I believe merch archive as well. Um, alive. I think, no, no, no. Uh, actually, you can do this for bestsellers and seller trends because you don't need to save filters for Merch Archive and um, live research. Right, so that is the first feature. And you can literally create as many filters as you'd like. You can edit the filter name. You can uh, delete the filter. And to edit the parameters in the filter, just make sure that it is uh, shown like this. And then you just change the parameters. And when you click on search, it can kind of resaves the new parameters into this filter. If you'd like to create another filter, just create a new filter, name it whatever you want, and uh, play around with it. Now, the best uh, benefits of this feature is that it allows you for efficiency and great productivity because rather than having to uh, enter the parameters that you're looking for every single time, you don't have to do this. Let's say you want to create a filter for KDP, right? You want to create it for, you want to search for the newest designs uh, based on uh, a BSR of 1 or 0 to 200k and, um, you know, uh, date as well. You can do whatever you want, right? Click on search and there you have it done, right? And this works independently from the seller trends filter. Why? Because there are different options in seller trends, right? Um, because you have sorting by winners and losers, you've got uh, trend types here, you've got time period, etc, etc. So that's why we made it independent. As you can see, you cannot see the other filter. If you want to create a filter for seller trends, you have to create it here. All right. So now that we've got this one out of the way, let's move on to the next feature. So we have showing a BSR graph on hover. Now you're able to show BSR graph on hover and you're able to copy the title, copy the brand, copy the ASIN. You can see the percentage change. Has it gone up or down and the value of BSR? So 
let's say yesterday it was uh, you know 1 million and today it's 900,000 then it will show a difference in value of minus or plus 100,000 uh, minus 100,000 right um, obviously as the BSR goes down the better it is right as you can see now we've even taken it a step further and actually included a duration for the graph right you can show one day if you'd like and it will only show you two values yesterday and today's date and as you can see you'll be able to see the date here as well right today is the fourth you can see the fourth and the third right if you want to do one week you're able to see one week worth of data like so just by hovering over the tile right you don't have to go inside it as you can see like that don't have to go inside and it shows you the difference in values and everything guys okay you can do one month and three months etc etc um, so this is um, when it comes to the BSR graph and the filters. Now, the other change that we've added, which I believe is really, really good, is the fact that you're able to open this design in many places, like in uh, product search. For example, you open in product search like this, and it pre-populates your um, product search with the title of that design. And it opens it in a new window, right? This doesn't exist anywhere, guys. What I'm showing you is doesn't exist anywhere, right? <laughs> it's it's unique to Merch Dominator. So we'll do Star Wars, uh, The Mandalorian, for example. We delete all of this. So it basically copies the entire title, and then you can choose what whatever you want to keep in the um, uh, product search search box, and then click on search like that. It shows you the design, right? Let's say we want to check the newest designs, right? Let's say we want to check this one right here. Open it in product search. I never dreamt I'd grow up to be a super sexy horse dad. All right. We delete this shirt. We don't need it. Search. Done. There you go, guys. It really makes your... Uh, products research so much easier then you also have the ability to copy the title right like so you don't have to go inside the product you can literally copy the title come over here paste the title and delete whatever you want to delete and then click on search and then you also have the ability to uh, open in amazon like that you can open this whole design in amazon you can open in Redbubble. You can do whatever you want to do with the design. Open in Canva, right? Open in bestsellers, etc., etc. And then we have the same things for live research. Uh, we have the same thing for seller trends. So you can see the BSR graph, etc., etc. By the way, if you don't have a graph, that means uh, the design has has just been picked up by Merch Dominator, and over time it will start showing you the graph. All right. And over here, you also have a zoom function for the BSR period, right? You've got all time, you've got one year, you've got 180 days, like so. And you can go through all the points in the BSR history, right? You can zoom in properly, you can do whatever you want. This is an amazing feature, guys. Now, in terms of pricing, Merch Dominator still has the 50% discount. So, Get on it, guys, before, um, you know, everything goes back to normal, to the original price. So just enter this 50% off over here. Click on apply and it will show you a half price. And if you go for the annual option, you get two months free as well. All right. Other than that, if you guys want to have 200 plus niches, check out the link below in the description. And we have a niche service as well. So you can check it out in the description if you don't have time to do your research. If you want to get your Merch by Amazon account or if you know someone that wants to get one, I'll leave you a link in the description. All the links are in the description, guys. You can get my course. Um, we've got one-to-one -one coaching as well in case you'd like to have a chat with me, talk about strategy, etc., etc. I hope you got some value out of this video, guys. I hope you found these updates useful. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Do the, you know that like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.